Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can import 3D models, add shadow in the scene, add depth of field, add fog and also how to create 360 environment in element 3D easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel link in the description. Okay. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's start this by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition, come to this preset options. Here I will be selecting this HD1080, which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration of 14 seconds. Hit OK. So now let's start by creating a solid layer for element 3D. So go to this layer options, no create a solid. Let me rename this element and make it of comp size and hit OK. So now come to this effects and presets panel. If you're not finding this panel here, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element. So element is a third party plugin. So select this element and drop it onto this element layer. So now click on the scene setup. So here we got a new window to work in element 3D. So element 3D supports only OBJ or OBJ sequence. So make sure whichever model you are using, it is an object format. Okay. So here I will be using a car model, which I have downloaded from online source. I will leave a link in the description if you want to use the same. Okay. So now let me import that first first. So click on this import button and let me select this car model, which has an object file and open and alignment let it be bottom and hit ok so here we got this car model but the texture is missing so while downloading this model we will get textures also so we need to add manually so we need to expand this select this material come to this diffuse and come to the texture folders where is this come to this texture folders apply diffuse map here ok and add normal map so click here this is the normal map ok and let me add reflectivity map and let me select this one and open okay so we got textures on the model also so if i enable this environment we can see the environment here so let's change the environment so click on this environment button so here i have downloaded this environment from hdr heaven i have downloaded in jpeg format because hdr format the colors are not getting accurate when i'm applying that one so i'm using this jpeg only so select this jpeg and open so we got this environment here nice so now let's create a ground plane so create plane and let me increase this scaling of this plane to thousand no thousand is small i think let me increase this to ten thousand okay and also let me apply material so here i will be using this pro shaders pack so let me select this pro shaders to ground so let me select this ground sand and drop it onto this plane model okay and now come to this uv options uv repeat let me repeat 35 and 35 okay so we got this sand applied onto the plane nice which is looking good okay so now click on this ok button so here we got our car model. So in order to view this in 3D space, we need to create a camera. So go to this layer options, new create a camera and preset. I will use 28 mm and hit OK. And let me select this camera tool. Click on this camera tool here and let me rotate this here a bit. So we got our scene, but here the environment is not visible. But in element 3D, let me show you. So in element 3D, we are having that environment, but in this viewport, we are not finding the environment. So in order to get that environment, come to this render settings, physical environment and click on this show in background. So now we got our environment. So if I move this camera tool, let me change this to full. If I move this camera tool here, you can see the environment will be moving along with the camera rotation. But here we will have one small challenge here. So if I select this track the camera tool and if I zoom in, you can see there is no change in the background environment. So if I zoom out also, there is no change in the background environment. So now we need to create 360 environment in element 3D. So now let's do that. So let me change this to quarter 
come to this element go to the scene setup once again so now we can disable this environment because we will be creating manually okay so let's use a sphere so create sphere so let me hide out this plane model and car model now select this material and let's apply an environment here so i will be using the same environment which i have applied here previously so select the material click on this diffuse and select the same material sorry same environment map and hit open so now we can see we got that environment on the sphere and hit ok so now scroll down diffuse change it to zero glossiness we don't want that let it be zero and illumination come to this illumination options enable this use diffuse color and intensity change this to 100 okay so now we got our environment on the sphere nice so now let's increase the scaling so come to this model select this model and let me increase the scaling to 10,000 okay so now we are currently inside this sphere you can see we are inside this sphere so we want this environment visible backward so we want to see the environment here so for that again select this material come to this advanced settings we don't want this reflections shadow and all okay and ambient occlusion we can ignore that one so here we got an option called draw back faces simply click on that we will get our environment here nice so now we can select enable this plane model and car model also now hit ok button so now let's see whether this will work or not so let me select this track z camera tool and if i zoom out you can see our environment will be moving away so if i zoom in it will be interacting so in this way we can create this 360 environment here okay so now let's deal with shadows so before do that let's enable ambient occlusion so come to this render settings we can disable this showing background in physical environment now so come to this ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion AO mode change it to ray traced nice so we got ambient occlusion here so now we need to work on shadows so for that we need to locate sun in the scene so let me select this camera tool once again and let me locate where the sun is so in this scene the sun is here so i need to place a light at the position of this sun so after placing the light only we will get the shadows so i need to place a light at the position of the sun so for that select this element come to this utilities and select this 2d position here and click on that sun position just add a point there and click on this generate so a null will be generated at the point of that sun so now select this element position here press p on the keyboard okay so we got the position values of this null so now let's add a light so go to this layer options new light so i will add a spotlight here and intensity i think 125 is fine and make sure this cast shadows is enabled if it is not enabled we won't get shadows so make sure it is enabled and hit ok fine so again press p on the keyboard for this spotlight values position values ok so now we need to copy this null position to this spotlight position so select this position values go to this edit and copy them select this position of the spotlight we can paste that one so paste so the light is now here so now we can delete or hide out this null object which we have created okay so now let me rotate this one so we have added the light but the shadows are not visible now so select this element come to the render settings come to the shadows where is the shadows come to the shadows enable shadow and shadow mode change to ray trace so now we can say we got shadows visible in the scene here okay so now the scene is looking a bit dark when compared to this background so now we need to light up the scene a bit so we can add another light so i will add an ambient light so go to this layer new light and let me add ambient light here and intensity i think 40 is enough so add 40 okay so now this is looking good nice so now let's work on depth of field 
So for that we need to work with camera layer. So select this camera layer, expand this one, camera options and here enable this depth of field. Okay. So we got depth of field here and let me increase the aperture for time being. So I will make this 100. Okay. And uh, blur level also I will increase this to 125. Okay, fine. So we need to play with the values of this distance here, focus distance so that our object stays in focus. So instead of doing this manually, we can come to this element, scroll down to where is this depth of field and depth of field mode change from pixel to focus indicator. So here we get an indicator here. So whichever stays in this red area will be in focus. Rest of them will be out of focus. So now it will be easy for us to adjust the distance. So again, come to this camera options. Now let's play it from 500. So it is here. Let me play with 800. So let me change this to 850. Okay. So this is good, I think. So now again, come to this element and depth of field change this to pixel blur once again. So now our object will be in focus. So now let's do this turntable animation. So for that, instead of using this camera layer directly, we'll add a controller for this camera layer. So for that, we'll be using a null object. So go to this layer options, new create a null object and enable 3D for that also. If you're not finding this 3D option, click on this toggle switches. If you're not finding this toggle switches, it will be here. Just click on this to expand that one and click on this toggle switch just to get that 3D option. Make it 3D and enable pick with this camera to this null object. So now we can control this camera with null. So if I press R on the keyboard, now we can control our camera. So let me change V on the first frame, add a keyframe for this Y rotation, move to the last frame and change this value to 359. So in order to get a perfect loop, don't use 360, use 359 only. Okay. So 360 gives a complete rotation. So instead of complete rotation, leave one frame at 359 to get perfect loop. So now here we can say we got this turn table animation done here. So now let's see how we can add fog in the scene. So this will be the final one. So select this element, come to this render settings once again. And here we got this fog option, enable fog, fog color, let it be dark, light gray. And let me adjust this fog start distance to 1800 or else let me change this to 2000, sorry, not 200, 2000. Okay. Or else let me change this to 2500. Okay. So here you can see we got this turn table animation done along with the shadows, depth of field and fog in the scene. So in this way we can create this kind of cool looking scenes in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.